Hello, it's Lee here. Welcome to my scroll by of my journal scroll for the Junk Journal January. So Junk Journal January was hosted by Meg from Meg Journals. So thanks very much for that, Meg. Um, she was in collaboration with Get, Get Messy Art. So there was 31 prompts to use during the month of January. Um, I want to show you what I did in my scroll, how I interpreted those prompts and how I overcame some obstacles in um, the format of this. So that's the finished item. So it hasn't ended up being massively thick as I thought it might have, but um, I suppose it's about four inches wide, maybe four and a half, five inches. And well, you can see there's my, my hand next to it. I'll just undo it to start with. So I've got a few things poking out. I've got my birds on sticks. Uh, I've got butterflies poking out of there. But uh, yeah, we'll come to them in a moment. So I had stapled the prompt list onto the outside. So the cover of this scroll journal is uh, a piece of bed sheeting that I stamped and stained. So that's all that is. And I have actually done a video showing how to make that fa that fabric, uh, that effect on the fabric. So I just turn it over and we come to day one which was resolutions. That's off a cardboard box and I've got um, a die cut butterfly there. And this is day two, that's a dried rose, rose petals. Stained was day three and it's this one under here. Um, I wasn't entirely happy with the way this turned out so I was quite happy to cover it with something else. Uh, the birds, which was pocket, uh, that was day 11 so I couldn't think of any other way that I could put a pocket into this scroll unless it was one that wasn't actually fixed down. So I hinged this um, two-part pocket there and put the birds in. So there's the birds. The birds were just um, die cuts and two bits of cardboard glued together. So they sit in there. They flip over out of the way. So then we come to this which was decorate. Oh, it's not an order. These aren't. Some of these things aren't in order because, uh, well, to save room, basically. But this was a combo of four different days together, and it was um, from the day barcode fo folded and top five, I believe. So this was a docket, so a shopping docket. Just held in here by a paperclip. So that's just an altered paperclip. So it's a docket. The back of it is uh, just for journaling, and it folds back up like so and pops back under the paper clip out of the way. The paper clip actually stops it from coming open. So decorated tag was these ones here. Day five was routine. So that was one I made with teacups and birds. This one here was stitched. So when I first started I was spacing them out fairly wide so that was one day and that was the next which is shimmer and then I've gone back in and put this back which was day 10 which is um, hidden, uh, sorry, intricate. That one was day 8 which is blossom. The hidden was this one where the, I've actually got a little girl in behind this mesh here. Throwback was day 12, so I did. I went back to Junk Journal July 2021 and used the prompt for the same day. And that's what that is. Now this one, 
<laughs> I think a lot of people from overseas think I made Birdsville up because I've got birds in my in my collage. But Birdsville is actually the name of a town in southwest Queensland. It's near the um, Queensland and South Australia border. It has a really famous event happens there every year. It's called Birdsville Races. So Birdsville is actually a town in Australia. Okay, so this is hand lettered. So I didn't do any of my own writing on that. I just used a digital um, sorry one of the prompts for that day was maps was map so I cut my birds out of map okay so for texture I made my little rabbit in his rabbit hole and then experimental was this one so I worked out a way to have a butterfly pop up which is a vertical one instead of a horizontal. I have seen them done before, but they've all been horizontal. Oops, it's coming off. Um, this is day 22, and it's old and new. So that was old book page, and that was a digital, so it was an old and a new flower. And day 23 was stickers, which aren't sticking very well. Now that's one of the problems with a scroll like this it's really not I don't think it's suitable for collaging in maybe it is but not if you're going to be constantly rolling up and unrolling your your book so um, I made mine out of a sh out of shopping bags paper shopping bags and Amazon packaging so there's lots of creases in the paper itself before I even started and I found that combined with um, the rolling and unrolling of the scroll has made things like this happen. Where is it? Was it this one? So, um, yeah, really need to be aware that that will happen if you're going to be continually opening and shutting it, rolling it up and unrolling it. But, uh, I mean, this is the first time I've ever made one, so the whole thing is an experiment. Okay, so that was stickers and this one was scenery, so I used one of my own watercolour paintings to uh, create that one. And this one was one colour, so it's all just bits of book page and that is book spine, that stuff there and this here. And this is where I started combining. I found myself with that much space left and six days to go. So I had to combine to be able to get it in because I didn't want to just have a couple of things on the outside of it. It was either going to be, you know, all, you know, split evenly or, or you know, not at all. So, um, yeah, that took a bit of working out. And the only thing now is that I, I've got a plane outside which I think I'll just cover in um, jelly prints or something like that. So we'll, we'll see where we go. Okay, so today 26 and 27 was wordy and earth tones so I used book page anything that I could find with lots of words on it diary entry and then um, earth tones so I kept it to browns a bit of green in there this is day 28 and 29 which was antique and musical the last two pages 30 and 31 is unexpected and close so I used part of an envelope to make a close something that closes and then I used Tim Holtz paper dolls so that's the original paper dolls there like that they're joined but they're a little bit further apart but what I did was when you open the door there's he's standing there with someone else so that was my unexpected thing in that and that's got a bit of stenciling with gesso so that was the book in its entirety. Um, it is the journaling part of it, the paper is two meters and eight centimeters so in inches and feet and inches it was six foot eight I think and it's um, 
six inches this way. The inside was just made from a paper towel roll that I split down the middle and then made it smaller, narrower, and covered it in the same sort of cloth that I used at the front. And surprisingly, things just roll up quite well. Now here's another thing that's come undone, this bit here. I may not have even put any glue on it, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so this is, when you've got things like this flapping around, they need, they cause a little bit of a problem. The one thing I loved was the way when I rolled it up that the birds, which you can't even see, the birds look like they're on a carousel or something. So that is the scroll journal. Now, if I ever make one again, it'll be very different to this. Now, I saw Natasha from Treasure Books has done a scroll journal, but it's not, it's nothing like this. It's not actually a scroll, it's just a journal that she rolls up inside a cover. So, I, I don't know if anyone else has done one of these, but if they have, uh, yeah, I can't, then I'll say this isn't my original idea. <laughs> it's just something I thought of. But um, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing that come to be. Um, I have a video coming out soon on how I made the little pop-up butterflies in the vertical format. So I hope you tune into that. I've got Margaret e. Miller coming up soon. Thank you for all your wonderful comments throughout the month of January. And um, thanks to all my new subscribers. Really appreciate people getting on board and showing support for this um experiment that I did and uh, I hope you will come back and see what else I've got to offer during the year. So I will say cheers from Australia. Hooroo!